Hello YouTube World, Techno Guy 3 and if you didn't know, well you're about to know, that it was reported in August that Apple was building a data center in North Carolina. And well, what this data center is going to be used for, nobody knows, but it's 500,000 square feet, I think. I mean, that's, that's a lot of, that's a big building. Um, let's see. I have it on my monitor here, the exact uh, thing. And some rumors say that they're going to expand support for their mobile me service, which, come on, who uses mobile me? It's like 99 bucks a year. You can get everything in mobile me pretty much for free. Um, but still, why? What I personally think is they're going to use the data center, 500,000 square feet. That's freaking huge. That that's like one of the biggest data centers in the world that they're going to build. Our building right now. Um, I think they're going to use it for cloud computing. Apple's really been like the head of many technologies. Like when the MP3 player, Apple wasn't the first people to release an MP3 player, but they did it the best. And that's how they got that. And we all know Google is going to come out with cloud computing. Google's got everything. And this is probably going to end up competing with Google. And it's probably going to beat Google. But anyway. Uh, we all know Apple has an obsession with Thin. What I think they can use cloud computing for, along with basically just making everything not have to have hardware, like really sophisticated hardware to work, is... You know Apple's obsessed with Thin, right? I mean, this is one technology that no other phone company is able to make a phone that thin. It's hilarious. Same thing with iPods. MP3 players just suck compared to iPods. But anyway, if Apple didn't need to include hardware in their things, like really, I mean they still have to have a little bit, but it, they, most of all, they could just use wireless technology to um, access their hardware over in their data center. So I think that they can pretty much make things super, super thin if um, they make more computers like the iMac, the Mac Mini, all that kind of stuff. It really would not need any major hardware in it because they'll be using the hardware from the data center. And if they have that service, then it's probably something I would use personally. Because then you don't have to go out and buy all this expensive stuff. You can just use a uh, cloud computing service. Now that's probably not going to be cheap with like a monthly or yearly subscription. But I think it's a good idea. I think Apple, if they do do this, they're going to dominate everybody who tries to do it too. Um, I think it's a very good idea for Apple. So, tell me what you think in the comment section, because I really do want to hear some people's opinions on this. Anyway, this has been Techno Guy 3. Don't forget my live stream on Ustream.tv slash channel slash Techno Guy 3 dash live. Um, I'm broadcasting from 4 to 9 every day, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So don't forget that. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching.